me go ahead and get the sponsors out of the way because it's going to be a long night with you and myself and you. Uh, I would assume not a lot of your kids are awake while you're watching this, so I'll try to keep the word <laughs> down to a minimum. But nevertheless, we are live. Everybody do us a favor by hitting the like and share if you're on Facebook. Share to all those social media groups. Share to all those social media pages. You're watching us, listening to us on YouTube. Like, subscribe, notification bell, wherever you are listening to podcasts, rate, review, and subscribe. Every post game is brought to you by our good friends over at betonline.ag. Use that promo code BELIEVE50. The Masters is going. Baseball's going. Your one-stop shop for betting all things. Believe where the game starts. And a good friend's. Over at, at the Athletic Collection. That's the Athletic Collection. You can check them out on Facebook, um, Twitter. They came out with a new shirt tonight. What's up, brother? I'm going to get me one of those uh, as well. You're all one-stop shop for all things LSU. Go over there at the Athletic Collection. Uh, let them know. Use the promo code AYS. You'll get 20% off of your order. We got all these stickers and stuff, too. Like, look, I have the tiger. It's pretty cool. All right. Oh, I like this one, too. Hold on. I like this one, too. Might put that one on my truck. Um, we got to have a conversation. It's not going to be a pretty one. Um, you're one game away from, at least for me, hitting the panic button. You're one game away from being in deep shit. And really, I, I, I mean, you're 3-10 and 10 in the conference. You would have to go on a historic run. To get where you want to go, you're not going to do that. Now, the thing about hitting the panic button on this team is you still have Ole Miss, who lost tonight. You still have a series with Missouri. They can win both of those. Could they sweep them? I don't know. The bottom line for me is this. It's not good enough. And I got in the debate with you uh, on Twitter, some of you, uh, is Jay Johnson Ed Orgeron. I'm not even going to remotely – Talk about that because it's so dumb. He's brought two teams to a national title. But to get tonight's game, here, is, here it is. The theme of 2024 through however many games they've played, through the date of our Lord, April the 12th, 2024, simply is you cannot execute when the moment is big enough. You have the bases loaded Three innings. Three innings. If you get hits in crucial spots, in crucial situations, you can win that baseball game. That is all, that's all. that been the theme all year. And here's another thing I'm not going to allow you to do. I'm not going to really completely allow you to blame Michael Braswell, okay? Because I saw a lot of you do it tonight. Early in the first inning when uh, Amick, he finally comes back. Took a lot of shit from you baseball people. Blake, he's hurt. He's not coming back. He fucking hit a home run on the first pitch tonight. The bottom line is, I know that you've had times with your bullpen. You have had times that they have not executed and been good enough. I'm not saying giving up six runs is good enough. What I am saying is when you have three, six, nine guys left on guys left on base. That cannot happen. You can't go over with the bases loaded and think that you can not only just win a game in the SEC, that you can beat anybody. I know that a lot of people want to go after Jay's head. That's fine. I'm not going to entertain you, Rudy Poos, because the guy's going to go in the portal and he's going to get a lot of dudes. Things are lined up for him. The bottom line is, for me, the guys that you have right now, quite honestly, 
aren't good enough when the moment is brightest. And I, I don't know what else to say. I, I mean, what do you want me to break down? That Gage jumped through a OO hanger to arguably one of the best power guys in the country to start it off? Or do you want me to go to the second when Travinsky has a 2-0 count and he just watches two fastballs right down the dick? Like, what do you want me to do? What do you want me to say? There is nothing to say. I think as a fan, we have been very patient. As someone who even covers the team, I think that I've been relatively patient. I'm not patient anymore. It's not good enough. And you can say that, well, Blake, you need to calm down. Calm down what? Even if, even if they go into a situation where they sweep Ole Miss, they sweep Mizzou, I pray that they do. I think that they actually could, believe it or not. Ironically enough. But you are at the number four team in the country's home without your ace starting in game one. And you leave nine guys on base in three innings, not accounting for the other innings that you're leaving guys on base. Like, for example, I look at the top of the fifth. Jones got a hit. Well, doesn't matter because before that, Milam and Brown struck out. So what what the shit does that matter? Jones gets a base hit. Tommy Tanks hits into a weak ground ball, second pitch. They were on your ass all night. You struck out 13 times in 27 outs. Put the ball in play. Figure it out. Bunt these motherfuckers if you got to. I I, I don't know what else to tell you because they're not going to hit. And quite honestly, I like the approach from Jay. You know what? Fuck it. I'm going to put out, I'm going to put Larson in right. I'm going to bring in Brown when the, when, uh, when the lefty comes out. And I'm going to bring in Milam. Good. Cam Johnson didn't look bad. Aiden Moffitt didn't look bad. Play those guys because everybody else, isn't living up for the moment. And the guys you brought in also, Ethan Fry came in, didn't live up to the moment. Guys, you got bases loaded, one out in back-to-back situations, and you go over. They give Tommy Tanks a hit. Okay, you got a hit. On paper, you got a hit. Guys, if that ball doesn't have the English it does, are, are, are you 10 minutes ago, are we already on the show because it's a double play because Tommy Tanks rolled over on one? I, I mean, it's just... It, it, you, I get to a place where I, 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 I don't, I, I have no words anymore. Well, Blake, I come here to hear you talk. I come here to conversate. Yeah, sounds good. What do you want me to say? I, I mean, I, it's just I, I felt it all day, been kind of aggravated and pissed off all day, for whatever reason. Because when you go into this weekend, and then you, guys, literally, you've had. On game in game one, the number one team in the country and the number four team in the country, literally on their heels, where you could do something and battle your way back, and you have times and situations where you just can't live up to the moment. That is the, that is it. Now, let me re- go back to one more thing. I actually am going to have the conversation with you now that I kind of start thinking about it and talking about it. I am not going to have the conversation with you about Jay Johnson and him not being a good coach. Sit the fuck down. Sit on a stick. I don't care. I'm not having that conversation with you. Because it's so dumb. Even if they, even if Jay and we had the same exact thing happen next year, it won't. But just in case it did. Bringing two teams to a national title It's not overnight, poof, he forgot to coach. Be honest with you, there's other players he needs to pull. But I've seen a lot of you talk about Braswell as an example. Yeah, I mean, guys, none of that was his fault tonight. None of it. Well, Blake, it's a whole bunch of other things. Okay, well, you wanted to have the argument with me a couple of weeks ago. 
Yeah, a tough play. First inning. Don't leave a ball dick high to arguably one of the best power guys in the conference. Don't do it. Like, I, I mean, it's like, oh, he, he didn't make the tough play we needed. What the fuck are we talking about? What the fuck are we talking about? Because I, I look at that play and I look at that situation and say to myself, okay, look, man, if you had more range, might have been able to make that play. Maybe a shortstop with more range would have made that play. He doesn't. It's not as if he as if, as if he fucked up. He can't change anything. If you want to blame him not having the range, that's on Jay for recruiting the kid. Blaming him has uh, on a tough play like that. And then I had some of you say, well, Blake, that's routine. There's not a fucking thing routine about a ball who, by the way, Tennessee puts it up after every at bat. A ball hit 102 off the bat, right back up the <clears throat> right back up the middle. Nothing routine about it. I would have rather gotten Vandy tonight, if I'm being honest with you. Ripped the band-aid right off. If you don't know what happened to Vandy, they got their butt cheeks blown out. By Texas A and M. But at least I it, it, at least I know, you know what? All right. <laughs> okay. I got you. We're in it. Even if you find a way to go 13 and 17 in conference, maybe you can even make it out of a regional if you get in the right one. You got to get to 13, 14 games. You're in with 13, 14 games. I don't think you can get to them. I, I'm... Skeptical that you can get to them. The, uh, I, uh, I, man. At least in, in 2020, there wasn't like massive amounts of hope. Like Orgeron was getting blown out by Bama. This is completely different, man. I mean, you're just in too many close games. They keep you entertained because you're like, hey, man, you know, like, I know they've lost a lot. They hadn't won a series in the weekend. But, I mean, they're right there with everybody. Inexperience. And, and, and look, to be real with you, you can't replace it. You You simply cannot replace it. You know, we talk about Dugas, Beloso, Morgan, Joe Bear, you can't replace a Riley Cooper either. I, I mean, you just can. And I, I, you can't replace a Ty Floyd. Fucking first-round pick. But look how much we bitched about Ty Floyd. It's just frustrating. And finally, my frustration comes out on you or on this show tonight. I'm frustrated. I'm pissed off, to be real with you. Probably more than I need to be. Probably shouldn't be this pissed off. But I am because it's just, I, I guys, even if I, I, I could even live with a little bit, like even if you lost tonight, let me tell you what I could probably live with. And because a lot of you say I'm a little too, uh, I had somebody comment this week and say, oh, Blake's a little too positive. All right. Well, here's what I would have been positive about. In one of those base, bases loaded situations, if you would have gotten one hit that would have drive, drove, driven in two, I would have actually kind of been okay. Like, all right, you finally got when you had the opportunity, you finally fucking came through. But it, it makes it it makes it so much worse when the only thing that you get is your superstar hitting a dribbler to third base. He did his job, and that's kind of what you probably needed to do. But I, I mean, like that—that that is the issue here. That is the issue, and I don't I, I, look. I've never coached a day in my life, and I'm not going to act like I have. I I don't I, I. But looking in this situation, I have no idea what Jay Johnson does here. None, because it's not like he has bad talent. It's not like he has talent that is not going to even get drafted, even some of these guys might even, I mean, Bear Jones alone, 
Tommy Tanks alone with the power that they have, Luke Holman alone, I mean, those guys you're probably going to be seeing in the major leagues. But I, I look at this team and say, I have no clue how Jay corrects this. He's taken phones away. He's run them. He's put them in big-time situations. He, he, I mean, he, he's tried to recreate these things at practice. I, I talked to somebody in the building, um, what was it, Wednesday or Thursday before they left? It was one morning. might have been Wednesday. But talk to somebody in that building. And they're telling me, Blake, we're completely recreating every situation that we've been in. To, to In practice, trying to get over the hump. And they can't. Like, there's even times in practice when they're simulating it. And Jay's on their ass. And it's just not working for this team. It, it, their butthole is so tight, you couldn't fit a grease BB in it. No pause. I mean, you just couldn't. So the frustration continues to build. I don't know, man. Yes, if you have a comment, send in Super Chats. It will be read. Let's get to a couple of them here. Uh, Lucas Abear with a $2 Super Chat, one of $2 Super Chats, says LSU has serious work to do. Yeah, they do. Yeah, they do. And and I think that Jay is not going to – He look, there's going to be guys that hit the portal, going to be guys that leave, and I, I mean – you're going to have to destroy the portal. You're going to have to destroy the portal. I know you have a really good class coming in, but you're going to have to destroy it. Because I, I got to be real with you, there's going to be more players in the portal that could play right now probably 70% of this team. And by the way, the other 30%, like 20% of that is leaving. I mean, like, guys, Bear Jones is is really and truthfully, he's been the be your best player of late outside of Tommy Tanks. Been your best player. Could you have imagined if Wes Johnson would have been at Georgia sooner and he would have had Charlie Condom and Bear Jones? <laughs> call, it, call it the Mighty Ducks because they would have been the Bash Brothers. Um, Lucas Bear says, I'm still riding with the Bayou Bengals. I am too. I'm just frustrated. I am too, Lucas. Thank you for both uh, Super Chats there. I am too. I, I mean, guys, at, at this point, they're 3-10, and 10 and we're still here on a postgame show, right? Like, I mean, uh, name somebody else that would be on a – or is going to be doing postgame shows for a team that's 2-10 and 10 in conference. We will be here, rain, sleet, shine, snow, Armageddon, flying ants, flying locusts, doesn't matter. Uh, Steven Young says, this team has no fire, no leadership, no magic. They don't have dogs. The season is over. Uh, thank you for the super chat. I, I don't um, – I mean, look, the season's still not technically over. There's still a realistic chance. I still think you can beat Missouri. I still think that you can beat uh, Ole Miss. Uh, I don't think you can beat a and M. I I think you can beat Auburn. And quite honestly – to get to 13, to get to 10 wins, you would have to sweep one series. Like, say, if you swept Mizzou, you went two or three against Ole Miss, that's five wins, so you're at eight. Say you get a win against a and it's nine. Well, no, shit. You got to win out or go on a tournament run. Yeah, you got to win every series out. And two of them you got to sweep. Or you got to win one here. You can't. You can't afford to lose a game here. I should say, that would have been your. Yeah, you could go two or three against Auburn, because if you if you did technically win a game here against Tennessee, I don't know if you can. I, I legitimately don't know if you can. So I mean, last night we talked about. You know, I said I, I pick. I picked Tennessee to win the series two or three. 
and that the only night that I thought that you could win it would be tomorrow. So I'm not hitting the panic button yet, but if they lose tomorrow, I am hitting it. But and the problem with that is, and problem with hitting that panic button is their schedule gets easier. But then again, I, I mean, Missouri won another game tonight. I forget who Missouri beat, but Missouri won again tonight. They they tied the series with whoever they were playing. Let me look that back up right quick. Um, who did Missouri play? Kentucky? No, that's Auburn. Fucking Kentucky, man. Oh, they played Georgia. They tied the series with Georgia. They're five and eight in the fucking conference. They're better than you right now. And we're expecting that they can go out there and win that motherfucker? Yeah. By the way, by the way, Missouri in a couple of weeks or next week, whenever it is, Missouri, Kentucky's only loss came to Missouri. Uh, the bearded one. I like that avatar, and I like your name. Obviously, clearly. Uh, with a ten dollars super chat, he says, "I'm tired of everybody bitching about Braswell, but nobody's mentioning Brady Neal's defense behind the plate and lack of execution on the offensive side." Bingo. The kid is probably three for fifty in SEC play. So that's what I was talking about earlier. He, guys, and thank you, bearded one, for the super chat. I, I agree with you. I mean, the the play that he had, um, the the wild pitch or the pass ball, really. I'm not even going to call it a wild pitch, but the pass ball, he throws the third. Okay, I mean, he's got to eat it, but he's got to block that up first or make a better throw. Secondly, the play before that was when Pearson, okay, had a bad throw and bear, look. I'm not even going to put that on Pearson. Jones is going to have to come off the bag. I know he wants to try to get the dig and the backhand dig. But the backhand dig for a guy that big and that size, pause, is uh, not easy. Come off the bag, block it up. You weren't going to get him anyway. But I'm going to tell you this too. I'm not going to blame Pearson or Jones. Because Pearson's been an outfield, he's been at second. He's been an outfield, he's been at second. I mean, it's tough. It's difficult for the human being to uh, to do that. You're asking him too much. If we're being real, you're asking Bear Jones, who doesn't have enough reps with Pearson on a double play situation. Hey, uh, you know, I know that this ball is going to come throw hand side. I better go backhand dig on it. I better push through. I I know that Jay is keeping in Neil for two reasons. Number one, he need he wants him to get the experience, and I do not blame him. And he does have more of a power factor than Malazzo. I would agree with you. that I don't know if I wouldn't want to see Malazzo start. Struck out tonight, but everybody's not looking good at the plate. Shit, Brady Neal ain't looking good at the plate. You're not necessarily replacing anything other than better defense. And, and unless Malazzo is hurt, which there's rumbles, and, you know, I... Yeah. You know what Tommy Tanks hasn't done either all year? Have y'all – now, I'm pretty sure y'all going to be able to say that you hadn't seen this. Have y'all seen Tommy Tanks hit the Tommy all year? I'm superstitious like that. If he hits home run, he, he, he needs to hit it. 
Uh, Danny Girl with a nine ninety nine dollars super chat. Thank you so much. He says, "I'm frustrated too, but more at fans on Twitter than the team. Team needs to learn to win. Fans need to learn to lose. Won't contend every year in every sport. Enjoy the ride and be patient." Thank you, Danny Girl, for the super chat. Yeah, in reference to, in reference to people on super chat uh, on on uh, social media. I, I mean, Danny, to be to be honest with you. You know, for me, and I agree with you. I mean, it's obnoxious a lot of times. I, I, I here's what I here's what I will give people that are upset because listen, we're we're with them, and I think Danny will agree with this uh, uh, as well. But for me, like a lot of this shit is not acceptable. I'm with everybody on that, but. You know, you got to give grace. But it is, some of it is obnoxious. But the thing that stings the most, right? Like the thing that hurts the most, that stings the most, is that you have had situations that you could win, where you could win games. Guys, I don't even care, quite honestly, if you would be shit, I don't even know. Even if I'm trying to think. So you're three and ten in conference right now, so 13 games. And even if you had two more wins, even if you were five and eight, if you're five and eight right now, even if you got swept this weekend, you come out of it. Uh I I, I don't know. I I I don't know. Because you do have the hope that you're going to make the the postseason, right? Because you know that you can beat Missouri. You know that you could beat Ole Miss. Those teams aren't as good as the teams that you faced. Bottom line, though, bottom fucking line, though, yeah, I I, I don't know that you can go into – I mean, guys, Como, they've played better baseball than you. They've wanted it more than you, and they're not as talented as you. Uh, Lucas A. Bear with a two dollars super chat says LSU wins the next two games. God bless it. I hope so. God bless it. I hope so. I I, I just don't think that they can. I I, that I have guys. I have about one percent hope. Like tomorrow, to be real with you, I, I mean, I, I we're we're not going to be live tomorrow, other than not for baseball. We're going to be live for the post game show. I mean, the uh, the spring football game. We're going to be live immediately following that, and we're going to take in some of your phone calls. But bottom bottom line is, I, I, I'm not. I, I can't do. I can't do it. If they lose tomorrow, I'm not going to be able to do it because I'm going. UFC fights coming on UFC 300, arguably the best card we've ever seen. I'm not. Wait, I'm not. Uh. Uh-uh. Uh. Uh. Uh-uh. Stephen Young says Missouri swept Florida. We are. We are not sweeping them. I agree with you. Thank you for the one dollar super chat uh, and Lucas for the two dollar super chat. I agree with you. I don't think that we are either. I, I. I really don't think that we are either. And. It's tough, man. It's fucking tough. I just, I, I would have, I would rather just not, you know, if you're going to lose like this, I'd rather have gotten blown out. I, I hate these fucking one run games. Fucking despise them. I despise them. Uh, John Sibley Butler with a $20 super chat. Thank you so much, John, for that, my man. Says Blake, is this Tiger team more talented than Ole Miss? I believe that they are, and that came out of nowhere to win a natty. Oh, uh, I thought you meant this year's. Uh, no, they are not more talented than that year's Ole Miss team. No, 
that the issue with that Ole Miss team was they had like three starters that were injured, and when all of them came back, they went they went stupid. They went absolute. Uh, they went just absolutely bananas. B a n a n a s. Went cuckoo for cocoa puffs. No, I don't think that they are, and I don't think that they have the. I, I'm not going to say that they don't have the spirit. I think that they're playing tough. I just don't think they have the will or understanding. I mean, guys, you had Mac Bingham up. That's the most experience that you're going to get at the plate tonight. He's had more. He's got more experience than anybody on that team. And twice he came up. He struck out once. The first time that that uh, the bases were loaded, they struck. Uh, he struck out once, and then the second time, he hits a weak ground ball at second. Okay, well, I, bases I don't think were loaded then, but runners on second. Th- well, no, bases were loaded because there was a pass ball and a run scored. And he hits a, 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 a weak ground ball to second. Ball game. I mean, it's just like uh, you can't you can't get in any better situations than that. You legitimately cannot have better situations at the plate tonight than what LSU did, guys. The truth is, you give a lot of teams that situation; they're going to win. They're going to win some of them, and I guarantee you, they would have won tonight. I mean, fuck. I'll be real with you. Jay's first team. If you would give Jay's first team this exact situation, they would have won at least half of these games. But, and what's ironic, outside of Cruz, Doty was good, Dugas, I, I, I get it. That team was not as talented overall than this one is. They, I, I mean, well, they had some dudes. I'll give them that. They got to a super. Do they not? Yeah, super. No, they got to the regional Ole Miss. That's I mean it's uh Southern Miss. That's my bad. We were there. What what, what the fuck am I talking about? Um yeah, man. You know, you know who I blame? Can I tell you guys who I blame? I blame Matt Trent. Let me tell you why I blame Matt Trent. This team went downhill when he uh since he left us. Maybe we need to call up Matt Trent and get him on the show. Maybe he can talk some sense into us. What is he saying? Oh. Corey Rogers says, never once said Jay was a bad coach. Uh, I see what Blake means by fans talking shit out of context. Y'all are weird. Um, I don't know. Corlin Jacob says, Jay Johnson is a great coach. If you're judging Jay off of this one season, then you're ignorant. I agree. If you're just, I mean, you got to judge him, but don't. Uh, Adam says that this team has no marbles. They don't have any marbles. No attention to detail. No attention to detail. Go Tiger says baseball is a weird game. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Parker G says the Fire J. Johnson crowd is massive clowns. Yeah. You know what? what's, what's ironic to me is like I can have a wrong take, right? And... If I attack you the way that you attack me, I look bad. Why is that? Because I can go to a lot of your takes, Corey. Um, four, five, seven. I don't know. I don't know how to say your first name. Uh, on YouTube. Says, what happened to Milam at second? He went to shortstop. Uh, Alex Cormier says that Braswell is still ass. Throwing a stone at a glass house doesn't make someone better. 
Um, Alex, I, I don't mean this in a wrong way. I, I, I'm going to look in the camera and tell you, I don't mean this in the wrong way. He's not the reason you fucking lost. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. Sticking up for him doesn't matter. doesn't matter. He still sucks. Alex, you suck in baseball. I, I mean, I, I understand what you're saying. The play that you're getting mad that he did not make is not an easy one. So, again, throwing this out there, don't throw a fucking hanger and then to the uh, arguably because Billy Amick is a fucking stud. Like, what are we doing here? This is what LSU fans do, and y'all make it very difficult. Thank God. By the way, I have multiple friends in this business that have left the teams that they're covering because they're assholes. You think I don't have thick skin? Fuck you. Y'all, y'all. When you're mad, you get you lash out shit at me. Now, if I start attacking you the way that y'all attack me and some of these motherfuckers, you wouldn't like it. Uh, Stephen Young says we aren't going to make it the tournament. This team sucks with a four ninety nine dollars super chat. Um, and then Lucas A Bear with a two dollars super chat says I got LSU going to the regionals. <sighs> All right, let's do this. Actually, you know what we're going to do? This is what we're going to do. I know exactly what we're going to do. This is exactly what we're going to do. I am going to put this inside the chat right now. I don't know how you do these, but someone told me about it. Start a poll. Do you think LSU will make a regional? All right, so inside of YouTube, we have created a poll. Do you think that LSU will make a regional? Vote yes or no. Vote inside there. Let's see what happens. Uh, but you're 50-50 right here. Thank you, Lucas and Steven, for the Super Chats. I really appreciate it. Um. Danny Girl says, come on, folks. Bear Jones is not great at first. Uh, Neil has struggled behind the plate, and Braswell has struggled at shortstop. Why do y'all focus on one player? This team does one thing well together, and that is lose. That's really true. And their bullpen has not been good. And their bullpen has not been good at all. So uh, that, that's what we do. They, for, they focused on Jordan Thompson last year. In 2022 football, they focus on – they focused on Jaden. Um, fuck, we can probably name a lot of other ones. I don't even know who they would blame with men's basketball. Oh, they blame Scott Woodward for for Will Wade. Um, let's see what else. What are, guys? Y'all can tell me inside the chat what's been some big ones. Blaming Braswell does not save shit. Doesn't save shit. Oh, they, well, they fuck. They come and blame me. John Sibley Butler says, LSU fans have always been interesting. In the old days, there would be a Mayflower moving van outside of Jay's house tonight. Man. RSP says, they will hit several swamp doggy cock missiles <laughs> to beat the Vols and turn this season around. Oh, my God. LSU will hit several swamp donkey cock missiles. <laughs> oh, God. Man, I hope so. And let me tell you something. As God is my witness, as God is my witness, I better remember this because if I don't, it's going to be bad. If I can remember, if LSU wins tomorrow and hits a bomb, I will tweet out, that was a swamp dog, swamp donkey cock missile. <laughs> oh yes, 
Uh, Lucas Bear says we will win against Missouri. I hope we do. I hope we do. Uh, the bearded one says it's hard to teach, in all caps, a team to how to win. That's really true. That's really true. Uh, never blame Scott Woodward, says John Sibley Butler, a great athletic director. I agree. Um, Dylan Holly says, Bla yeah, Blake, it's your fault we're losing. I mean, they blame me. I mean, that's what they're lashing out for. Um, it's what they're lashing out for. I mean, who said he was like this? Who said he would do this? I mean, guys, he won a fucking national title. I mean, there was a year that Paul did not make the tournament. There was a year that Paul Maneri didn't make the tournament. I do think, here's what's interesting in, in, in perspective of some things. It does show that a, a, a lot of people, like, look, man, winning ain't easy. And a lot of people hated Paul Maneri's guts. He's Les Miles 2.0. He's fucking Les Miles. Yeah. Won a lot of fucking games. Uh, Dwayne says, I know Braswell isn't the only reason you lose, but everything. My grandpappy used to say, everything that someone says before but is horse shit. He does lead SEC players in airs. But, he, but see, Dwayne, here's the issue. The issue is, is that you are in the same exact situation tonight that you've been all season damn near, or at least in the conference, and he got taken out of the game. He didn't make an error tonight. Neil did, uh, and Bear Jones. So I saw people like, Bear Jones has an error. That's not an error on Bear Jones. It's going to be an error on Pearson for the throw. A first baseman's not going to get an error on not being able to dig the ball out of the dirt. Uh, he he's not. <laughs> now, should he come off the bag, block it, let the runner stay at first? He's already there. Sure. I mean, but that's not an error on him. I don't even blame Pearson to be real with you. He's playing hokey pokey if he's in right field or, or second. Guys, when you're playing an infield position in the SEC, you got to be there every day. You can't just flippy flop. You can't go Laffy Taffy on it. You can't, uh, you can't. Shake that Laffy Taffy. You can't do it. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. That Laffy Taffy. You can't do it. Pierce Lee says it's AYS After Dark. Yeah, it is. Y'all remember, the old school people re will remember this. Y'all remember... Um, Man, we used to do some light. We used to have a show called uh, AYS After Dark. It was during COVID on Fridays, and we would we would watch a lot of. We would talk all kinds of crazy shit. We would go like four or five hours. It was exhausting, but we had nothing else to do. I mean, my. Some would be asleep. My wife would be asleep, and we just sit there. We just sit there and talk, talk all kinds of crazy shit. And then it got out of hand. Because of some dummies. Uh, Danny girl says, I'm no Jay Johnson, but if we lose this series, I would be running a complete freshman lineup with veteran would play the midweek, give them all as much SEC experience. Would you, would you sit Tommy tanks? Would you sit bear Jones? You don't have an under underclassman. That is a freshman that can catch. Um, I mean, Jay somewhat did that tonight. He didn't start him, but he put Milam in um, and then put Brown in. And then Larson was in right. So, yeah. Uh, Parker G says, exactly. Jay Johnson is a an elite manager. He will win another national title within three years. 
I think he could. Uh, Gerald Fontenot says, I wouldn't be mad at trying Gidry at playing shortstop. He cannot play shortstop. He cannot play shortstop. <laughs> Father Abear says, I, oh, I remember those days. Yeah, it got out of hand. Got out of hand, Father. How, by the way, Father got this book. Father Abear texted me and said that he got The Last Hero with Mickey Mantle. God, I love this book. I'm trying to see because they have a lot of pictures of him in here. Yeah, it's Mickey, Jill, Mickey Mantle with uh, Richard Nixon. Oh, the old mixter. Probably my favorite. Outside of Tony Gwynn. Hold on. Um, Outside of Tony Gwynn, uh, Mickey Mantle is my second favorite baseball player of all time. And I know that uh, some people are like, you know, whatever. But I, I, I love him. Uh, Andrew Paul's up. Martin says, Swamp Donkey Cock Missiles sounds like a popular item they shoot off at Lake Marple. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. Blake, did you get Father A Bear? Father A Baird? Yeah, I did. Uh, Doug Ray says, and Todd Peterson couldn't hit, but told Maneri he hit bombs. Yeah, I, I mean, and that's what you need sometimes. You need some luck. And, and look, I, I would I would venture to guess. I, I, I guarantee you Jay's going to Paul. I guarantee you Jay's going to skip. And like, what, what do I do? Jay's not attacking this alone. He's not attacking this alone. Gidry at second base and Milam at short. Guys, Gidry could not play a position. I, I, I hate to break it to you. If he could, if he could play a position, I think Jay would have already thrown him out there. But we have seen him be a position player before, and it has not looked good. Y'all think Milam commits errors. I mean, kid does not look great. There, guys, there's a reason that he's pitching. Come in, comes in as a two-way guy, and he doesn't do both. Why do you think that that is? By the way, when he was hitting and was attempting to hit, it was abysmal during the fall. I don't know if he got a hit in the fall. I don't think he did get a hit in the fall. Uh, Sean McBride says clutch hitting is needed. Uh, runners on base uh, or left on base is huge. Yeah. Uh, Corey Rogers says if Bullfrog were here, he'd swear that Garrett Nussmeyer could fix his baseball team. <laughs> he says he's sorry. He's got to try to uh, lighten the mood. Um. Yeah. He would. I think the guy's changed his name. He's been in some comments before, Corey. I don't know where, but he's been in some comments somewhere. And I just feel like he just changed his name. I think it was a... Uh... Damn. What was that guy's name? I, I forget off the top of my head. But I think he just changed his name. Because he was going from place to place to place to place and then when Jaden won the Heisman you never heard from him again shit you never heard from him again when um when J after the Florida State game never again God, I, I will tell you though man I will tell you I have never in my entire adult life ever let uh, taken, but because what he was saying, he, he wasn't attacking me. 
right? Like he was just saying, if you believe this, this is the reason why I don't believe it. He wasn't really, he, like he wasn't taking personal shots. He was just, you know, but then at the end, he started taking personal shots because we I started going after him. I actually started going back to old shows where he left comments and commenting. And then all of a sudden, all of them started getting deleted one by one. Mm -hmm. Danny Girl says, Milam at first. I mean, Milam at second. Brown at first. Uh, Kusarak at shortstop. Ruddle at third. Malazzo catching. Tulsa coin for outfield. Danny, I, I don't – you cannot sit Bear Jones. You cannot sit Travinsky. I mean, you cannot sit uh, Tommy Tanks. Sorry, you cannot. And they are not. But even if Jay wanted to, he can. I, I don't – no way in hell is that going to happen. No way in hell. And you shouldn't. Be honest with you, Bear Jones is better than Brown right now. So putting him, putting Bear out and Brown at first, no way. And you don't have an outfield. Brown would have to play the outfield. It'd be Larson and then who else? Uh, Ray Powell says, Blake, did you get Father A. Bear to pray a blessing over this team? I have not. Maybe that's what should happen. Maybe that is what should happen. Paul Sub says that Bullfrog may have been old Brennan who was BSing during football season. Con uh, uh, coincidentally, Brennan has been absent as well. Yeah. Tyler Cooley says he's not related to me. Uh, what happened to Griffin Cooley? Uh, is he not on the roster anymore? Um, I don't know. I don't know. He also says, speaking of two-way guys, why not Brown on the mound? Also wasn't really good. I mean, they during this fall, they threw him, and he kind of got rocked around a little bit. And uh, I just think Jay just told him, like, hey, man, I think you're just going to be better, you know, in that one position. Maybe they should. Maybe they should see what he can do. I mean, shit, guys, you got to throw anything at the wall here. I, besides, like, a Gidry to shortstop, I'm not – I. I'm not – no. Uh-uh. Nope. No way, Jose. I think it's funny. My son, Ben, he goes, no way, Jose. <laughs> Dude, he's so funny. Kid's so freaking funny. All right. Yeah, get Father Bear to um, pray for the team. Might need to do that. Uh, Jordan Strahan says, Nuss is going to ball tomorrow. I, I'm not saying he won't. I don't know how much that they're going to let him really – maybe they will. May, maybe they will. But uh, did y'all hear Brian Kelly on Thursday? I don't know if Brian Kelly going to sit on Garrett Nussmeyer and let the backup quarterbacks take over and battle it out. I'm not a thousand percent sure that he's not going to do that. Maybe he will, maybe he won't. I don't know. Nevertheless, we'll see you live right after it. Till then, y'all have a good one. Peace.